Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we got our first new content drop in MLB The Show 21 and again with all of the new players coming over from Xbox and trying out the game for the first time uh, today's video and a lot of my videos are going to be tailored to the beginner side of things and I want to go over and show you highlight the new card we got the 85 diamond Eric Davis and how you acquire it if it looks like it's going to be a good card and if it's worth investing the time in if you're free to play or pay to play so let's take a look at that new player program for eric davis as well as our new headliner all right let's get into the video guys all right guys so uh, like i said if we did get our new player program and again in diamond dynasty uh, again this is just for the beginners if you go to programs and then player programs you'll see the three that are up right now jason giambi you can't really get because you have to wait for a certain amount of days i believe we need to wait two more before we can actually get the jason giambi evolution card and the mickey mantle one just really isn't worth it so the new one released today is the Eric Davis first inning one and I want to explain what they are how to do them and you know it, like I said if it's worth it so if you click on it here you'll see if you go all the way to the end if you hit triangle on that card you'll see that the 85 Eric Davis card that was released today and he's not bad at the plate at all I mean 106 contact 82 contact against lefties and then power at 80 with 61 vision fielding's kind of mess speed same thing at 61 isn't bad and he's a pure outfielder uh, but again for anyone that's free to play this is a solid card to start out after as well as the XP boost that we're going to talk about for the first inning program so before we get into that let's see how do you actually acquire this card all right so the first thing you want to do is go down to moments and you will see that he has six moments that you have to go through and do they range in difficulty um, but you know the only one that you might have trouble with is tallying six hits but it's throughout three games or tallying 12 total bases um in three games as well and then you know again you have to hit a home run things like that when you are up to the play with him he in his moments he does um hit a little bit weaker if you use just a normal swing by hitting x and it's something that i would recommend you always do is hit x unless there's a moment or something where you really need that extra power and you're playing the cpu for this one and the ones that you require to get extra base hits i would use square um you know to on playstation to actually get a power swing out of it because it seems to be that that little oomph will get you a better opportunity at home runs with this card at least when you're trying to do the moments so once you've completed all of the moments like I have, you'll have 42 points earned towards it. You'll see that up in the top left under his name. Obviously, to get him his card activated, you need 50. So then you've got to do a few other things, uh, and this is going to be up to you. So one, you could do an exchange, and you trade in outfielders, and you'll get, you know, five points towards it really no point in that guys you're just you know wasting cards that you you know um you don't need to burn or exchange you can save them for something else what you want to look at is the missions and here is where you can make your decision on what you want to do so extra base hits with center fielders so tally five extra base hits and extra base hit is anything more than a single so double triple home run with center fielders in rank seasons battle royale or events so it's going to be online um, against other players okay um, so obviously a little bit more difficult for newer players but with all of xbox coming over now a lot of new players out there i think the competition is going to be a little bit more easier than you anticipate the one thing i do need to mention extra base hits with center fielders you can load your lineup with primary center fielders that's right so if you have a right fielder um you know that as that's as that's his second position secondary position but he's actually listed as a center fielder that card counts so you can put as many as you want in your lineup that you can get in there that are listed as center fielders that you know you can play um that have secondary positions elsewhere so i just want to mention that because that's uh, a nice caveat to to help you get this done the other one is tally 10 hits online with orioles players ranked seasons battle royale and events a little bit in my opinion a little bit tougher just because baltimore's players there aren't a ton of amazing ones out there there's quite a few though and again it's all going to depend on what kind of cards you have um, in your inventory but again just another option either one of these is good and then the last one is play the cpu and defeat the orioles on all-star difficulty or higher for the majority of players if you're brand new to the game this is the one i would recommend just play the cpu on all-star difficulty or higher it's completely offline 
and you'll get the eight required to get the Eric Davis. So guys, this is how you're going to acquire him. And again, all of the player programs are listed right here. And uh, for this first one, again, if you're just starting out today and you're looking at your free to play player and you're looking, hey, where do I go? I've mentioned this in the other video in my uh, where to begin video. If you haven't watched that, go check that out. Uh, but if you go over to play and then go to the single player modes here and then go to moments and the first thing you want to do is go to the tops now moment. And again, I list this here and do both of these because you'll get a diamond and a really good gold player for your lineup. After that, go get the Eric Davis card because I think he is worth the uh, time investment to get him done. And you'll get a starting diamond um, outfielder. All right, the next card that we got was the San Diego Padres prospect CJ Abrams, the shortstop, the 90 overall prospect card. And this is in the headliners pack. So um, one of the you know nice additions, again, if you're coming over from NHL, you follow me in the NHL directory, something like that. The headliners packs give you a boosted chance to get this featured item. They also seem to have a bit of an increased chance to actually get diamond poles. I did five in the first set. I didn't get the headliner, but I got two diamond poles out of it. Uh, that being said, I wouldn't really recommend going for this because if you spend 7,500 for each one, and you go through, you can basically get this card. Uh, you could just buy him outright already. So keep that in mind, guys. Now, overall, not a bad card. I mean, he's got 91 contact, 87 against lefties. His power is really weak, though, but he's absolutely deadly on the base pass with 96 speed, 95 ceiling, and, um, you know, his fielding's not bad either in the 80s. So not a bad card there at all, and it's just going to be a different kind of one. So this is top of your lineup, table setter kind of thing, and uh, or someone that's off the bench. But... In my opinion, early on, if you're just starting out in this game and you're still trying to learn some things, you're trying to get your lineup, I would not recommend investing in this card uh, because you kind of want to go for guys that are going to give you a shot to get a run every single at bat, just in my opinion, because you know early on hits are tough to come by and these kind of cards that you know while they can get on base pretty easily they just require more hits to get in is the issue so i think that you could grind affinities and things like that that will give you a better shortstop for you but nonetheless the cj aber cards is very nice but just kind of a you know two tool kind of card and i wouldn't recommend for beginners in my opinion last thing i want to talk about is the huge boost that you get to the first inning program so if again if you are brand new to this game the first inning program is where all of the xp that you you earn in all modes goes to and this helps you unlock the first inning bosses so if you look in the top left i have 184,000 xp i've been playing a ton lately and you'll see that you get all of these packs and rewards throughout it while you're earning xp okay and then the big one that you want to pay attention to is 350,000. again by pressing triangle on these packs you can see what's included in them and this is where the bosses are you can get one of these for free unbelievable that you could also sell if you want we'll talk about that in a future video but if you are trying to grind up to get these cards first, if you are just getting this game, rushing to get one of these cards um, and then, um, you know, selling them very early before a lot of people get them, you can buy them back later before the first inning program is done and make a lot of stubs that way. There is one thing that I haven't really discussed, and that is the marketplace in MLB The Show. And the one thing that i can the least complicated way to make stubs rush to get whatever high powered diamond or you know whatever free card you can get and sell it immediately before other people get an opportunity to get these cards and then obviously that's going to drag down the price because the supply becomes so much higher than the demand um, and then after they're out and the second innings out the second inning programs out these cards do go back up in price but if you get to them early enough, you can make a ton of stubs by selling them and then buying them back a little bit later in the inning. So just something, again, to keep in mind. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because if you go down to collections here and go to veteran Eric Davis, if you turn in the Eric Davis and you actually, you know, you collect them, you'll earn 35,000 XP just for finishing them, which I think is an absolute huge boost just for doing that on top of everything else that's a big boost especially if you're just starting the game so guys i guess i'll show you an update on my squad again i've been playing all weekend since launch i did grind the 89 albert pools and i will have a video coming out um talking about my debut with him and you know how i think he plays this is an insane time sink uh to get that card because you have to do the full usa map and then i've got a lot of the 42 players um again i've been doing team affinities a lot of and i'm going 
going to be grinding them a lot more as well. My bench, I've got Harper, Ozuna, and then Ken Griffey and Babe. And then um, I've been really focusing on uh, this Felix Hernandez cards. Um, if you look at the parallel, I was able to get him to parallel four, which gives plus four to all of his attributes. I was the fifth player in the world out of 12 that have him um, at this slide. I'm trying to get him to his fifth parallel to get him plus five and everything, but he's been rock solid for me as well. Uh, but yeah, so far, my, my pitching staff has been uh, pretty electric so far, and I've gotten a pretty good grasp starting out there. Um, but now just starting to work on some more um, key hitters throughout my lineup. All right, guys, so I hope that helps with today's content. Again, my, my content for MLB is going to be a lot about helping the guys that are brand new to the game learn the insides and out a little bit better. And, and again, coming from someone who, you know, isn't super well-versed in MLB last year was my first year playing it all the way through. Um, again, I think I have, you know, the answers to the, some of the questions that guys that, you know, are just starting out might have. So let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for daily MLB content and catch me live on Twitch starting at 10 a.m. Eastern time every single day link is down below have a good one guys